Hello, good morning and welcome sa what the good one water equipment vlog. At uh, ang pagkakaiba ng pH tsaka sa pH alkaline uh, at tsaka yung TDS kasi uh, meron na akong ni-record na nga dinownload na rating ng mga TDS ng mga mineral water at uh, yung ito naman ngayon i papakita ko sa inyo ang isa pang vlogger na nagtest din ng kanyang pH may pH tester siya na dinadrop so sa mga bottled water na nasa market sa Pilipinas ay pagka purified mababa ang TDS bumababa rin yung pH level niya kaya pag nag-drop na ng tester, mas nagiging yellowish siya o ano, greenish. Dapat sana ang standard ng pH is 7 pataas. Yun yung blue na nagiging violet ang pagpinatakan. So, sa mga nauna kong ano, uh, upload, TDS naman yun sa akin. Ang pagkakaiba, pagkakaiba lang ng TDS, Once na bumababa ang TDS rating, bumababa rin ang pH level ng isang tubig at kaya siya nagiging acidic. Hindi mo pwedeng pagsabayin o combine yung pH level na ma mataas sa TDS level na mababa. Kaya salungat siya. So, yung iba gusto kasi ng uh, mata uh, may alkaline eh, kaya lang mataas ang TDS rating noon nasa 100 megit sa mga bottled water so makikita nyo sa vlog ni ano na isasama ko dito na tinest niya yung mga pH may, may tester siya yung dropper ng pH is most lahat yung mga pinagsama-sama niya yung lahat ng bluish at na violet na mataas ang pH level at tiyak din noon mataas din yung kanyang TDS rating pero yung pagdating sa yung purified at saka na mababa ang TDS rating yung total dissolved solid niya ay mababa less than 10 o kaya zero distilled distilled water na siya at saka purified water na siya yun ay mababa ang TDS kaya yun ang ibinukod niya naman sa gawing kaliwa so ang mas gusto niyang uh, sabihin sa kanyang vlog is pH yung pH, mataas ang pH dun, yun ang pinaka safe sa Pilipinas na mga bottled water pero hindi mo kasi pwedeng pagsabayin yung mababa ang TDS rating yung total dissolved solid niya sa mataas naman yung kanyang pH level niya, yung alkaline mataas, magkasalungat sila, hindi sila pwedeng pagsabay. Pero kung, kung alin ba ang mas safe inumin o mas magandang inumin, sana both maganda rin eh. Yung kasing pag naggumamit ka ng uh, purified at saka yung distilled, Siguro sabayan mo na lang din ng mga prutas na na, uh, nagpapataas ng uh, mga alkaline para ma makuha mo yung alkaline level na gusto mo. Marami naman tayo mga prutas na pwedeng inumin, uh, kainin para lang sa alkaline. Pero itong alkaline, talagang mataas ang TDS rating niya. Mataas din yung pH niya, more than 7. Pero pagdating sa purified less than 10 ang kanyang TDS pero less than din yung kanyang pH kaya acidic siya so tingnan nyo na lang kayo na lang po ang mag decide kung ano po ang gusto nyo sa bottled water na nabibili sa market papakita ko po yung kanyang tines ng isang vlogger na dumayo sa Pilipinas pero may kasama siyang tester kit panoorin nyo na lang po at kayo mag decide pero bago yan sa, sa mga bago pa lang na nakakapanood ng aking vlog, please do subscribe sa aking channel. Tsaka, i-like nyo na rin, i-share nyo na rin. 
kung nagustuhan nyo itong mga vlog natin para ma-inspire pa tayo mag-download ng mga videos patungkol sa tubig at saka patungkol na rin sa uh, pagka-travel at saka sa business entertainer, entertainment ka na. So, ang tabayan nyo po, panoorin nyo po yung vlog na isasalang ko. At bahala na kayo mag-decide sa lahat ng mga bumubili ng uh, bottled water sa Pilipinas. Yun po ang ating masasabi dyan tungkol sa uh, vlog ni, ng ating kaibigan, isang vlogger din. Ang tabayan nyo po. Hello, good afternoon. Uh, I watched this video about pH testing on Crazy Russian Hacker on YouTube and I felt that I needed to try my own since he tried his in uh, the United States and he tested all the American products and stuff and so now I thought it would be about time to test the products here that you can buy in your local grocery store here in the Philippines and uh, for my tester it's just a simple pH tester where purple is the best and then pH 7 is neutral and anything below that is bad so you probably want to be drinking more than pH 7 you want to be over here in the blue or in the uh, purple right here and the products that I have bought are simple products that have been bought in your everyday grocery store here in the Philippines all the bottles are sealed I bought them yesterday and they have never been opened I will actually pour the droplets into each bottle except for that one because that one's actually tinted blue and I'll have to use a cup a plastic cup to get that one going so we will start here on the left with Viva let's check out see what Viva water is and all you really do is you put about three or four droplets in and you see how well the water is so about four drops right there and then we're going to put the top back on and then all you do is shake it and so Viva is about blue, bluish water which is very good it's very good drinking water this is a product that's actually manufactured by Coca-Cola if I'm not mistaken yes yeah, it's a Coca-Cola product so we'll put that over here is the good stuff and next we'll go with Magnolia which is actually a San Miguel product and in San Miguel everybody loves their beers here so let's see how good they do with their water and we'll just add a couple drops that's about six drops and we will close it and give it a good shake So that didn't really turn out too well. We will add more just to make sure that we're adding enough drops. I have plenty of water tester to go around. Just to make sure that this was a mistake. So that looks like about a green, maybe a green yellowish color. So that one's not really that good to, of benefits. The higher the pH level, the more quality it has for you. And anything below pH of 7, which is green, you probably don't want to drink because it doesn't really do much for you. It's not just about staying hydrated. It's about drinking good water. So this one here is Nature. Nature's Pure, which is a Robinson's brand. And this is mineral water. Check that we got some blue going on there nice color of blue so actually Robinson's nature pure is very good mineral water and then we'll go to summit which is natural drinking water very common here in the Philippines and we will drop some drops just to see what kind of water we are that we're drinking you go you can buy these at 7-eleven it's always important to know what you're drinking so that one turned blue too, and that's a very good card too. So we'll put that over here. Next is Absolute, and this one here is Distilled, Pure Distilled Drinking Water. So we will go and add drops, just to see what kind of drinking water we are drinking. 
you give it a shake. Whoa. Never done that experiment before. So, that one's not very good. I wouldn't want to drink this. It's up to you if you want to drink it or not. And then we'll go with Wilkins. Wilkins is very famous over here. Wilkins is everywhere in the Philippines. And this one here is distilled. And this one here is purified. So we'll start with the distilled. We put lots in so we don't mess up the mistake and we get very, very good colors. And give it a shake. So that, that didn't really turn out too well. That's pretty orange. But not as orange as absolute. So we'll put it in the middle right here. I hope you guys can see this right. And I hope you guys can hear me right. This is my first time. And now we'll go with the purified. And we'll close the top. And we'll give it a good shake. Clean up the mess. And so, now Wilkins and both Wilkins products here, the purified water and the distilled drinking water, they're practically the same thing, same level of pH balance in it. So we're going to just keep it over here. And then our next is called Hidden Springs, it's a natural mineral water. Put some drops in. Obviously, mineral water is better to drink than distilled or purified water. Just from looking at what we're doing in this experiment. And so, it's blue. And blue is good. And blue means that it's very good to drink. Very gives you good qualities of water. Alright, we'll put that over here. And our next one is Nature Springs. Now, Nature Springs comes in two different brands that I found in the store. The first one is uh, distilled drinking water, and the second one is distilled drinking water, but it tells you that it'll give you a pH of 9, a pH level of 9, the red label. So we will test the ordinary one first. Let me just put a lot of our pH tester in it so we get a good color. Hop on, give it a good shake. So, distilled drinking water turns out to be not the best type of water you want to be drinking for your body. Let's see what the Natural Springs pH 9 says, the red label. I put a lot of it just to see the color change. And what do we have? Nature Springs backs up their pH level 9, which is very good water. That's very good water. Let me put that over here. Okay, and we're going to have to do this one in a plastic cup because this is actually oxide and this is called a, a water purification through electrolysis, which is actually kind of unique. But the, the bottle itself is blue, so you can't tell for sure. So we'll just pour it in. And we will test the water. And what do we have? We have very good water. Electrolysis, water, water purification through electrolysis seems to be very good. So we will put that over here. All right, next would be the only ones I saw that seem more imported. Uh, these two bottles here are from France, apparently, and this one here is glass, and it's from Germany. So we will test Evian, because everybody knows about Evian. And let's see how well the water is. And Evian says the water is good. They, that's decent water right there. All right, now we will try this Volvic, which is called natural mineral water. Let's 
shake it and it turns blue there we go time for the last one which is I can't even pronounce it but it is bottled in Germany the only one I've seen this glass pour water let's see what German water looks like It's kind of green. Let's add more and see what happens. Looks like German water is green. Probably at the pH level around 7. So that's actually a pretty surprising fact right there. So there you have it. The typical water that you can buy in any grocery store here in the Philippines and what we learned today is that mineral water, which is mostly over here, tastes is better for you than drinking distilled or purified water. Because distilled water always tends to be, it's purified and this is distilled, always tends to have a lower pH. And that's not very good for you to drink. But it's up to you to decide on what water you drink uh, I do not recommend or promote any of these products. I simply just bought as many as I could of all the different products. And it's up to you to drink whatever you would like. I'm only here to show you that you can actually test your water. Now all of these waters are bad. They're no good for drinking now because I poured this in. But at least I've given you guys something to look forward to, something to think about when you go to the grocery store or go to a 7-Eleven and you want to buy water because you're thirsty. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Please give it a like and a thumbs up. Thank you.